Hello, my name is Christo Bonnef. I'm 19 years old and I live in Sofia, Bulgaria. I've prepared two monologues for you today. The first one is from Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare and it's Romeo's. And the second one is from the play called The Pillow Man, written by Martin McDonough and it's Arios. What's up? What led to the under window breaks? Is the eastern? Juliet is the sun. <sighs> Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon who is already sick and pale with grief. Without thou her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, she she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off! It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. <gasps> she speaks. Yet she says nothing but. What of that? I will answer it. But I'm too bold. It is not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business to entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if? Her eyes were there, but then her head. The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as they light out a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through their region stream so bright that birds would start to sing and think it were not night. Oh, how she lays her cheek upon her hand. That I wore a glove upon that hand, that I might touch her cheek. Oh, really? Well, I'm gonna tell you what there is about me. There is an overwhelming, and there is an all pervading hatred. A hatred of people like you. Of people who lay. I wake up with it. It wakes me up. It tries to bust with me to work. It whispers to me they will not get away with it. I come in early. I make sure. I admit it, sometimes I use an excessive force and sometimes I use it on an entirely innocent individual. But I'm telling you this, if an entirely innocent individual leaves this room for the outside world, they're not gonna even contemplate on raising their voice to a little kid again, just in case I pack it here and drag me here again for another load of fucking excessive force. Now, is this kind of behavior in an officer of the law in some way questionable morally? Of course it fucking is! But you know what? I don't fucking care. Because when I'm an old man, you know what? Little kids are gonna follow me around and they're gonna know my name and what I stood for. Because I'm a good policeman. Please.